I'm Mark Densler, Vice President and Chief Operating Officer with the Illinois Manufacturers Association. Greetings from Springfield, where lawmakers are entering the final month of the spring legislative session with a number of issues still yet unresolved. The governor and lawmakers continue meeting to try to cobble together a budget for the remainder of FY16 and FY17. The IMA has learned that a number of items are being considered, including an increase in the income tax, potential sales tax on services, billions of dollars in cuts, and many economic development reforms, including workers' compensation reform. The IMA was pleased this week to help defeat a constitutional amendment that would have created a graduated income tax. Under the Democratic proposal, the top rate would have been 9.75%. In addition to the 1.5% corporate personal property replacement tax, this would have placed Illinois' top income tax rate at 11.25%, the second highest in the country. That constitutional amendment was defeated this week when Republicans were joined by a handful of Democrats in the House of Representatives to publicly express their opposition. Constitutional amendments have to be passed at least six months before the November election, meaning we will not see that constitutional amendment on the ballot this fall. In other news, there were two major energy proposals that were revealed this week. One will help transmission companies and the state's nuclear operators, and the second bill is pushed by a group of environmental advocates known as the Clean Jobs Coalition. The IMA is going to continue to monitor and actively engage in the energy negotiation because the price of energy is a huge factor for manufacturers. We support an all of the above approach and believe that coal, nuclear, energy, natural gas, renewables are all part of the answer to our energy needs for manufacturing companies. And finally, the IMA continues to fight against leave proposals in the General Assembly. In particular, two bills, House Bill 3297 and Senate Bill 2147, would force every employer in Illinois to provide up to seven paid days of leave to every employee, both full and part-time, for all employers regardless of company size. This is a very costly and burdensome mandate, particularly for small employers, and the IMA continues to fight against these proposals. We'll be joined at the Capitol next week for our annual Business Day at the Hill. More than 300 business leaders will be in Springfield to meet with the governor, lawmakers, and hear a presentation from Amy Walter of the Cook Political Report. Next week will be a great time for manufacturing leaders to come to Springfield to talk to the governor, lawmakers, and other key officials about critical issues impacting their business. With only three weeks to go in the legislative session, now is the time that key decisions are being made, and our elected officials need to hear from manufacturers. We hope that you'll be able to join us next week, but if not, we'll take the message that manufacturing matters to our lawmakers and continue advocating on your behalf. Thank you once again for your investment in the Illinois Manufacturers Association.